Hi everyone, September 8, 2018, South Carolina, Virginia declare a state of emergency ahead of Florence, which could become a hurricane. Isn't it interesting how in the recent years we have been seeing governors declare states of emergency 10 days or a week out before any storm hits. And it's not even a hurricane. It could become a hurricane. Yesterday I saw that the governor of North Carolina declared a state of emergency in anticipation of Florence. Yes, National Guard already on notice. This is not the way we used to operate. Okay. Um, tro uh, Tropical Storm Gordon. Now, there was rain. There was rain in South Florida. Rain. And mainstream media was hyping up this storm so much that I got an email from a subscriber who lives in Louisiana who said he was preparing for a hurricane to hit. To hit. And I. I had been on Intellicast. I saw no hurricane. And what I was seeing in Florida on Intellicast, it was obvious that the entire thing was manufactured. So I wrote back to him. I said, I, I haven't even seen anything about a hurricane. So I did start to do some uh, research. You know, how could he have heard a hurricane? and I didn't. And I came across an article that said Tropical Storm Gordon poised to hit Gulf Coast as a hurricane. And there was no hurricane on radar, on satellite. And I, I, I don't know what to do in terms of posting anymore because mainstream media, the lying, has really just gone so overboard it is it's impossible to know what the truth is I count on you guys who you're right there living where you're living to let me know if anything happened okay well tropical tropical storm Gordon did not become a hurricane there might have been flash flooding but we're seeing flash flooding well, still, as I speak, flash flood warnings are going off all over the country. And I did see an awful long, long storm. Must have been about 1,500 miles on Intellicast last night. And I thought, wow, all right, flash flooding. But I also went on the National Mosaic, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. The ultra-low frequencies were just it, it they are now bombarding the entire country not now they have been for months but the bombardment of ultra low frequencies being set off all over the country well the ramifications or the consequences the results of those frequencies I'll show you in a minute but the health effects of all life in those areas where those ultra low frequencies are being set off um, very dangerous but they use the ultra low frequencies to modify the weather to bring about flash flooding so it did not become a hurricane but I clicked on this because I wanted to include it in this video and guess what? Now it's titled Powerful Storm Makes Landfall on the Gulf Coast. Um, I, it's really remarkable.
what we are living. It could have been a lot worse. Yes, it could have been a lot worse. Well, guess what, mainstream media? How dare you sound the alarms, which scares the crap out of so many people who have already suffered the consequences of these hurricanes. It is so despicable. It is such a disgrace that they could do this. I, okay, what also really upsets me is what is um, Mr. MBB333, is he just a mainstream media channel? I don't know. Because I, I've listened to some of this reporting, not just in his live uh, broadcast of Hurricane Florence, he talking about the tracking, and I'm listening to, I, I can only listen to a few minutes of people posting videos, and never do they really mention geoengineering, weather modification, and they're looking at the satellites, they're looking at the radar, but they are not talking about uh, what they are clearly seeing signatures of these frequencies that are steering these storms, manipulating these storms. No. Uh, what really ticked me off was watching this video. They weren't considering. And sometimes I will click on, you know, some videos just to check out what they are saying. I clicked on his video, Earth is Changing, and Cities Were Not Designed to Handle This. And I knew where he was going because I have seen the articles on the global warming, on the climate change, oh my God, all the flash flooding, the fires. It's global warming. And many articles are coming out about how our cities were not designed for these weather events. We've got to redesign, redesign the cities. And in some of the articles, what you're reading is that these areas are too populated. You know, it's all Agenda 2030. It's all pushing, you know, for these resilient cities. The Rockefeller resilient cities. It's the uh, redesigning of the United States into mega regions where everybody will be controlled. Every aspect of their life will be controlled. The loss of freedom, the loss of any human right that, yes, is uh, ordained by God. It's our natural rights. But you listen to this and you don't hear any of that. And then he's working off a NASA article or uh, written by some NASA scientist or whatever. And the article, Global Warming. Okay, I, I cannot, the reason why I am posting videos saying this is because this is not okay. It is not okay to disinform your subscribers and to steer them in a direction that is the lie of mainstream media. So as far as I'm concerned, Mr. MBB333, you are such a mainstream media reporter. It is phenomenal. But when you see these subscribers, the numbers, and you see, you know, just in, in today, 16,713 views, you know, and I get on average a thousand views, and here I am trying to point out that we are at war that they are using frequencies to modify the weather, to bring about the flash floods to, you know, and all of the um, quote unquote anomalies of these fires. And very few I see talking about the fires or posting on all of the destruction that is taking place on a daily basis. No, they'd rather talk about Q or they'd rather talk about Trump or they'd rather do this mainstream media reporting and more and more Americans are going down.
Now, I read the comments underneath this video and I am absolutely astonished, astonished at how many people. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, great reporting. And a subscriber of mine left a comment. And you know, I don't go back and I leave very few comments underneath videos, but I responded to a comment left by a subscriber of mine who was, you know, wondering, what am I, you know, why am I even still subscribed to you? Because you're not ever talking about weather modification or geoengineering and the war that we are in. Now I am paraphrasing, so that's not the language that she used, but it would take me too long, I'm sure, to get to it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, okay. It's global warming. And yes, it's very, very frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating to see this. So many of these subscribers are just clueless about what is taking place. But does he inform? No. No, he doesn't. And this is not okay. We're not going to get anywhere with channels like these. I am so upset. You know, when you hear this kind of reporting, you know that they're... they're you know, <laughs> He's walking these people right into their friggin' death and loss of freedom. Now, what does it mean to have a lot of subscribers and so many comments and so many views when the whole thing is just bullshit? And I'm sorry for cursing. But here he is. I I'm not going to go um, find the comment. For all I know, he took it off. His other subscribers have told me that he has deleted their comments. But so does YouTube. And hell, I responded to a comment today, <laughs> and then I had to go back uh, looking for something else, and my comment was gone. My comment was gone off of my channel. But here in this live broadcast, he's talking about, wow, it's just like Hurricane Irma. 180 mile per hour winds. Really, Mr. MBB333? Really, just like Hurricane Irma. Okay, well, <laughs> Hurricane Irma. I posted videos. In Truth by Grace posted videos, but... I went to In Truth by Grace's channel and I think she was posting on Irma when she had her channel and it was just Truth. That was the name of her channel, Truth. Well, that got terminated by YouTube. So her Irma videos where she was showing that the wind speeds were not what mainstream media was reporting. And I posted videos asking subscribers who lived in Florida, let us know what is taking place. How many comments did I get from you guys, from you Floridians, saying, this isn't a hurricane. It's more kind of like a tropical storm that we always got. Winds were not 180 miles per hour. And I posted a video. The mayor of Naples said, the winds were recorded at the Naples airport, and I can't remember exactly what he said, but I think he said 45 miles per hour. Mainstream media was saying it was 180 miles per hour. The, the mayor of Naples contradicts mainstream media. And what? Does this guy not know that Irma? was a complete lie. Now, I'm not saying that there were, weren't homes uh, that got destroyed, but it was not what mainstream media was 
saying it was. And there were, it wasn't just In Truth by Grace and myself, there were other channels pointing out that mainstream media was lying. Subscribers were telling me it was all a lie. Subscribers who live in Florida. But here he is going on with the lie. And this is not, you know, look, I'm sorry. Lies destroy, okay? So when we hear people lying, when we hear people not telling the truth, we need to correct them if they're not intentionally lying. And if they are intentionally lying, they so need to be called out. It is not okay to do this. So I went on my channel looking for my Irma videos. I can't find them. I I did a search in my on my video manager page, Hurricane Irma. Irma. I must have post I, I can't tell you how many I posted. But what do I get? I don't get anything from the time of Irma. I get Hurricane Lane, a repeat of Harvey and Irma. And the only thing that's real is the destruction brought about. And former flight attendant confirms Irma was no hurricane, ultra low frequencies, fires, alerts, disaster notices. All right. So I couldn't find it in my search bar on my channel. Then I went to my channel page and did a search and I couldn't it didn't bring me to any Irma videos so Irma was what August 2017 so I went by date and what did I where is it great okay um, First, I went through my video manager videos. Now, September 22nd, 2017. September 16, 2017. Very rare did I take off so many days before posting. But it might have happened. But September 16, 2017, and then the next one is June 6th. 2016. Really? Now, these go in uh, chronological order, you know, dates. Okay, that's uh, about 14 months. A gap of 14 months. May 5, 2016. Then June 6, 2016. April 20 to May 5. Where are my videos? So I did go to my channel page and uh, I'm having to scroll all the way through just by date and it would not let me go past three months. Let's see if that happens again. Yep, that's it. That's as far as it goes. Three months ago. I can't get to Irma videos. My videos showing that the wind speeds were not what mainstream media was saying. To point out to Mr. MBB333 that when you say that Hurricane Florence is going to be like Hurricane Irma, well, for all of your subscribers who are mainstream, um, they've got the mainstream brain. And even underneath, I see, you know, people leaving comments. The, the few people that objected to this reporting, then they get responded to like they're conspiracy theorists. This is what's going on on this channel. Um, 
Well, when you report like this, you know, you're you're getting those with the mainstream media mentality all worked up thinking, oh my God, we're going to have a Hurricane Irma hitting the Carolinas. And then, of course, it's all supported by these friggin' governors who are declaring states of emergency immediately. Well, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, they also declared states of emergency before Hurricane Gordon was going to hit, and it never became a hurricane. So I go to IntelliCast. Wow. Okay. Busy, isn't it? Look at all of these earthquakes. So let's turn off the uh, active tropical track. Look at all of these hurricanes. Uh, shoot. Uh, earthquakes. Wow. All right. Let's check out this one. It's a three with <laughs> 10 kilometers. Wow. That's the signature of a man-induced by frequency earthquake when it's 10 kilometers when they're very shallow induced by frequencies this is in Idaho and it's very close to the border of Utah okay now look at these in Montana all of these in Montana you got four in Montana, you got this one in Idaho, you've got one in uh, Nebraska. These are all today, by the way. You've even here, look, okay, you've got New Madrid. Oh, it's a 3.7, nine kilometers. New Madrid, Missouri, very close to the. Uh, New Madrid fault line. It is the New Madrid fault line, right? Okay. And Oklahoma, you are seeing so many earthquakes. 3.7, 30 kilometers. All of these shallow. In Kansas, 1, 2, 3. In Kansas. All right. Last night. And you know, look, I, I'm getting, I, I, I can't, I can't keep doing what I've been able to do in the recent years. And I'm sorry for that. And plus, my computer is really not okay. So it's not even going to bring up my, <laughs> where is it? Okay. Oh, all right. Um, Montana. This was early in the morning uh, of uh, the 8th. You had a tremendous amount of ultra low frequencies being set off. I believe that's Spokane, Washington. And here we have your ultra low frequencies, very close to where those earthquakes were. But Idaho and Utah, did you see where they were? Did you see where they were? Let's just view that one more time. Right where the earthquake was right here. That's where the ultra low frequencies were being set off. And ultra low frequencies were being set off all over the United States and Colorado. Nebraska. Kansas. Yeah, I should be editing all of this out to make a smooth video, but I don't have it in me. New Mexico. New Mexico and Arizona. 
Phoenix, Tucson area. Every single night, they are bombarding you with ultra low frequencies. And you got some flash flood warnings in Texas. What's happening in Texas? You got the ultra low frequencies. You've got the harp next red. Uh, rings, the signatures of the high frequency heating of the ionosphere, the use of the ultra low frequencies. Um, well, they can create cyclones, they can create earthquakes, they can create weather, like flash flooding. Dallas, you've been hit hard in the last two uh, early mornings with ultra low frequencies. O Oklahoma, look at you have been bombarded with ultra low frequencies and you're having so many earthquakes. What a surprise. I've just never seen the ultra low frequencies being set off in, in you know, um, well, Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan. Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri. And that's all I see now. Every single night, complete, like it's ten South Carolina and I don't know why South Carolina. This is Louisiana, this is Mississippi. Um, <clears throat> Next Red Harp, uh, Houston, but even in Mississippi, you can see all of the straight lines. That's the signature of the ultra low frequencies. I have posted so many videos on this, so if you're not understanding what I am saying, you can, well, hopefully you'll get if you search my channel for those videos on the ultra low frequencies. Um, but these straight lines. You see these very straight lines, they fan out. That's coming from Gwen Towers that are littered all over our interstates or extremely low frequency transmitter sites. So between the radar and the um, the extremely low frequencies coming from the Gwen Towers or transmitter sites, yeah, you've got weather, you know. And this is where I live, and I can barely. I, I am. I'm experiencing so many symptoms. But the cognitive symptoms that I've been experiencing, they don't, they're not going away. And I'll post a video on that, but look at these frequencies coming out of Kentucky, going right through West North Carolina. These are coming out of Greer, South Carolina. You see all of these straight lines. That's the extremely low frequencies. And Tennessee, well, you've been bombarded as, bombarded as well. But they extend like 300 miles. They're directional. So, sorry, you guys in West North Carolina, but you're getting them from out of South Carolina and Kentucky, or Tennessee, I'm sorry, Tennessee. It's, uh, this is where all of our extreme weather is coming from, guys. All of the earthquakes that we are seeing. And not to leave you guys out in New England, but Maine, the ultra low frequencies have been set off more intensely in the last few weeks, extending all over Maine. Long Island, 
Coming out of Long Island is a sustained frequency now. But Pennsylvania, New York, upstate, look at this. Is anybody else, is anybody else posting? Now, I, I can't tell you that I have been watching every channel. I'm not. But is anybody, are you finding other people posting about what is taking place with these frequencies and the weather? and saying very strongly, we're at war. We are at war, and they are using weather as a weapon. California, you know, well, this is Washington, um, bordering into, uh, bordering Oregon, the frequencies coming into Oregon, and California. Look at these microwaves right here. Very rare do you see the microwaves on the National Mosaic. But all of these lines, that's a signature of microwaves. All of this, these straight lines, you've got them coming out of Eureka. This is where the fires are, guys. And on down, yeah, on down into um, Central and Southern California. You know, here, ultra low frequency is being used. Uh, Mount Shasta, you've got a huge fire going on. You've got the Hearst fire still going. You've got these microwaves being used. Now, can I tell you exactly what it is that they're doing with all of these frequencies? No because I'm not an insider knowing exactly what's going on. But these frequencies, oh, this is not, look at this, Oroville, you've got the dam. And all of, all of these straight lines flashing before you, Santa Rosa, Napa, uh, Sacramento, how are you guys feeling out there? These frequencies um, seem to be going off all the time now, every single night. Yosemite Valley, Sonora, Sonora. Um, and this one in the San Joaquin Valley, every night I see this going. And of course, you've got the frequencies being set off from your Air Force bases in California. Understand that these frequencies, they can, they can, you know, uh, uh, put these frequencies into the atmosphere, but the extremely low frequencies coming out of Gwen Towers are ground-based, going through the ground, and you're going to be setting off these frequencies where there are dams, where there are fault lines, when these frequencies are known to cause earthquakes, all right. Um, Mr. MBB333 said, we've got a lot of atmospheric moisture. But he does not mention how they can create all of that moisture. So um, I just want to show you the tracking of <laughs> of um, wrong one of this storm smack into the Carolinas let me turn off earthquakes so I couldn't believe what I was seeing and if it doesn't if I can't show you the signatures right here this entire satellite image is showing you a man-made, manufactured storm. And can you see it already? Can you see 
the frequency hits on this storm that's supposed to be heading right into the Carolinas. So, manufactured, are they going to call it a hurricane, but they never actually get the hurricane off the ground? Well, they've been doing that, and we have been posting, showing you there ain't no hurricane there, but mainstream media, hurricane, oh my God, evacuation of all Floridians from Florida, get out of there, 180 mile per hour winds, all a lie. And it was not a hurricane. In fact, in truth by grace, went to <clears throat> the buoys to show that the winds that were being reported on uh, you know on the site that she uses to look at the buoys were not recording the same winds that mainstream media was reporting. And but does that even matter? Now look at that. Are you kidding me? Mother Nature does not operate in right angles. Mother Nature operates in um, in a circular pattern. So they are manufacturing another storm. Even if they don't get it to be a hurricane, they can still call it a hurricane. Even if they don't have 180 mile per hour winds, they can cause with frequencies uh, winds that literally take down trees and everybody will believe it's a hurricane. But yeah, it's clear. Look at how unbelievably manufactured this thing is. I'll stop it right here. Okay, that's uh, some kind of you know frequency that's leveling off this the closer to the eye of this supposed hurricane. Um, my God, it's split right here, and you have this uh, defined cloud substance. These are the signatures that man is causing this. Man is causing this. You can see the geoengineering. You know, the, the grid patterns. All of these lines going um, in either direction they geoengineer the periphery. They use the frequencies to create these, you know, storms. They may fail in creating hurricanes, but it doesn't matter because they have a lying mainstream media that will tell everybody, hey, watch it. Storm, hurricane, evacuate. States of emergency. They can bring about destruction. They can, you've seen the flash flooding. <sighs> yeah, it's it's really remarkable. Um, what what really upsets me is to see so many channels. After six years of doing this, and you still see these channels reporting as if they're mainstream. Oh boy, they have loads of subscribers and loads of views. but they don't report the truth. So, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Look at this. This is our hurricane, okay? This is our hurricane. Really? Don't misunderstand me. I am not saying that this is not going to develop into a hurricane like Tropical Storm Gordon did not develop into a hurricane. I am not saying that the winds won't be high or there won't be any destruction. No, they can bring about that destruction 
with the technology that they have to make everybody believe that there was an actual hurricane. And whether or not they do that, well, I guess that just remains to be seen. Now, you guys in Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, did you get any flash flooding from your tropical storm, Gordon? I think in some areas you did. But was it as bad as mainstream media was reporting? That doesn't even... It's like we can't predict anything anymore. Whatever these crazy, evil psychopaths want to do, they're going to do. And we need an army. We need an army of people who understand the truth to battle this. And when we, we don't have that army. Even in what is considered alternative news or citizen journalists, whatever, citizen meteorologists. Well, we're not going to get anywhere. And that's what really pisses me off when I see videos like this. All links are below.